Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we have a kit we're going to build and reverse engineer. Let's get into it. Alright, so this is the CD4017 Colorful Voice Control Rotating LED Light Kit. So I picked this up at a local electronics store, and I thought it would be an interesting kit to uh, look at and see how it works. So let's build this. Alright, so we have all our components here. It comes with this diagram here, which is nice, and then also has this components list at the end here. Looks like a lot of this writing is in Chinese, but uh, that's okay. has a component list. I can read that pretty good. So, good. So that even comes with a nice schematic on the back. That's backwards. There we go. So now we'll begin building everything. So here it shows us where everything has to go here, and even shows us the positive and negative side. So it looks like this side with all the lines is negative. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we'll uh, begin assembling. Alright, well first thing to notice is it's nice that they send us this socket here. So if you put in your chip the wrong way or something, or you cook it, or whatever, you can just replace it with another chip with, instead of desoldering this whole thing. So that's nice. So we'll put this socket in. Alright, there we go. So now we'll put the chip in to the socket, and if you can see here, on this side, there's a slight gap in the line that goes across here. And on this side, there isn't. So that means, we can see this mark on the chip right here, that goes facing this way, and we'll push that in. Just making sure all the pins are lined up. There we go, and that is in. So now what we'll have to do is we'll have to try powering this up. So it gave us a positive and negative side here. So you can see in the top, this is positive and negative. Two terminals here. So, our instruction manual says here, power 4 to 12 volts. Let's see if we can just focus. Real power 4 to 12 volts. I think a 9 volt battery should power this good, so I'll solder on a 9 volt connector. Alright, well, I'm just going to use this. This is a a 4 AA pack thing because unfortunately I couldn't find any 9 volt battery clips. So this will work. So here we go. So the positive is on this side. Alright. Oh, so I soldered this AA battery holder on, because this can hold four batteries, which will connect in series, four batteries connect in series, which will give us an output of six volts. So on the board here, as you can see that, it says from three to five volts. But then here on the schematic, it says four to 12 volts. See if you can see that. Anyway. 4 to 12 volts. So, weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the final battery in and see what happens. And, the first LED turns on. Actually, this is number 6 LED. <laughs> that turns on. Alright, let's uh, clap or something like that and see what happens. Hmm. You see that moved around, did a complete, almost a complete rotation. Alright, we'll clap again. Alright. Well, that is pretty neat. Now it's over here. Light claps. Maybe it makes it only move one. Here we go. A 
Okay. That moved a few. Okay, we're out. Guys, to move one. Okay, I moved a whole bunch. Now it said voice control, but it doesn't it doesn't seem to be working. Like I did, it's definitely picking up some sort of noise. Cause if I clap and moves, but it doesn't seem to be picking up my voice. So I may have to talk loud. Hello, let's leave some effort. Come on, move. Well, it works when I clap. Anyway, maybe I have to get close to the microphone. Hello. Well, that kind of worked. Hello, 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 hello. Move. Ah. Ah! Ah! Alright, well. Hmm. Wonder I went out there. Hmm. This blue LED doesn't seem to be coming on. So I either put it in backwards or it doesn't work. So let's take a look at the schematic and find out how this works. Alright, we will start at the left side of the diagram. So across the input power, we have a 100 microfarad capacitor for a reservoir capacitor to smooth out any ripples from the power supply. Next, we have the mic part. There is R1, a current limiting resistor for the microphone. Then there is C2, a coupling capacitor that connects to the base of Q1. A coupling capacitor blocks the DC signal from passing through and only passes AC signal. So, next is the mic itself. One side is connected to negative, so when the mic picks up noise, it will generate a halfway signal going through the coupling capacitor and feeding into the base of the transistor, thus amplifying the signal. R2 is a bias resistor for the base. R3 is a collector resistor that sets the gain of the amplifier. Connected between R3 and the collector of Q1 is the clock pin on the 4017. This pin, each time it receives a pulse from the amplifier, will move to the next LED. Here is an example. The microphone picks up some noise and generates a halfway signal, then goes through C2, to the base of Q1, which amplifies the signal. Then the signal is fed into the clock of the 4017, and will move the LED down. If the LED connected to Q0 was on, then the LED on Q1 would turn on. All right, so right now what I'm doing is I have a two kilohertz audio feeding into my earbuds, and we'll put that close to the camera's microphone, so you should be able to hear that. So what we're gonna do is we put this earbud directly over the microphone, on our circuit here and you can see all the LEDs seem to be on at the same time which is actually pulsing very very fast so we'll zoom in to our oscilloscope screen here and I'll explain what's happening alright so you can see on the top here that is our input signal and the bottom that is our output signal so this will feed into the base of our transistor and this is the output of a transistor so this is the common emitter arrangement you can see every time the input signal is low the output signal is high so basically what, what this is doing is taking the input from the microphone, amplifying it through the transistor so it's a higher voltage so the decade counter chip can receive those pulses at a higher voltage because the microphone's output would probably be too small. So you use the transistor to amplify that and give better pulses. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. And I'll see you next time.